What's up guys, Rogue9 here and our quest to try out the least favourite weapons in Battlefield 1 continues. Today we'll be taking a closer look at the SMGs, all three of them. Let's go! In Battlefield 1, if you come across another player carrying an SMG, you have an 85.5% chance that it's either the Hell Regal or an Automatico. These stats as at the 10th of February 2017, of course. And in fact, the Hell Regal 1915 Factory is by far the most popular gun. On its own, it accounts for 42.4% of the total aggregate usage time for all SMGs. But of course, this video is about the least favourite SMG. And at the bottom of the rankings, in terms of usage time, we have the MP18 Optical with 2.5%, the Automatico Factory variant with 1.3%, and right at the bottom we have the least loved SMG, the MP18 Experimental with 0.5% usage time. As always, I'll be rating this gun based on its stats, as well as my personal experience while using it. When it comes to damage capability, there is very little difference between the different SMG variants. They all do 23 points of damage at close range, and the minimum damage for the MP18s and the Hell Regal is 13.5 points, while the Automatico variants do 12 points of damage at 39 meters or more. In terms of fire rates, the MP18 comes in at 550 rounds per minute, which is somewhat lower than the Hell Regal's 650, and a lot lower than the Automatico's 900 rounds per minute. This is a definite disadvantage at close range, which is compounded by the fact that the MP18 Experimental fires strictly in 3-round bursts. Okay, you can chain these 3-round bursts to basically create fully automatic fire, but it's definitely something that takes some getting used to. In terms of magazine size, the MP18 falls sort of in the middle of the road. Its 32-round magazine holds slightly more than the Automatico's 25, but can nowhere near compete with the Hell Regal 60. Keep in mind though that the Hell Regal does overheat and you won't actually be able to fire all 60 rounds in one go. One of the MP18's strengths is its muzzle velocity of 420 meters per second, which is a full 10.5% higher than the other SMGs. And this of course means that your bullets reach your target faster and you won't have to lead as far at distance. When it comes to reload time, the MP18 is a little bit weird. Its tactical reload, that is with a bullet still left in the chamber, is 2.1 seconds, which puts it on par with the Automatico and significantly better than the Hell Regal. If you run the gun dry though, its reload time is 3.3 seconds, which yes, is still better than the Hell Regal's 4.5 seconds, but not only is it worse than the Automatico's 2.8 seconds, but it's also worse than the other MP18 variants, which come in with a slightly better empty reload time of 2.96 seconds. In terms of its recoil pattern, the MP18 Experimental again delivers a somewhat mixed performance. The vertical recoil of 0.38 is quite intense when compared to other SMGs, especially the Hell Regal 0.28, but when it comes to recoil left and right, the MP18 Experimental is the best in class with a mere 0.161. The first shot recoil multiplier of 1.8 is also great. So what this means in practice is that while the muzzle will climb vertically quite significantly, your point of aim won't deviate to the side very much, which could be a significant benefit. In terms of bullet spread, the gun is best while aiming down sights and not moving. And while the hip firing stats are better than the Hell Regals, the MP18 Experimental simply cannot compete with the trench variants of both the MP18 and the Automatico. So to summarize the stats, the MP18 Experimental has a low rate of fire and a medium magazine size, which is balanced out with a relatively high bullet velocity and high accuracy, and a uniquely straight recoil pattern which may or may not be a benefit. But of course, all of this is just theory until we put it into practice. So let's find out how the MP18 Experimental did during my field testing. So let me maybe first talk about fighting at close quarters. Of course, compared to weapons like the Automaticos or the Shotguns, the MP18 Experimental really doesn't stack up, there is simply no competition. But the fact is, there isn't a single other weapon in the game that can compete with these guns. But when compared to other classes like the Medic, the Sniper or the Support class, 
I found that the MP18 experimental allowed me to be quite effective, and that's despite the awkward three round burst. But what was more surprising than this was the gun's performance at medium range. Compared to the other three infantry classes, any weapon you can pick with the assault class is usually outgunned at medium and long range. But not the MP18 Experimental. While I was testing it, again and again I had the experience of coming up against players who simply assumed that they had me beaten because I was an assault player. And just like this scout right here, they let down their guard. They think, okay, he's an assault player, I can take him on at this range. So instead of doing what they would normally do, a run for cover or step side to side to try to dodge my bullets, these guys seem to think, it's okay, I'm gonna trade with this guy. So I think it's a combination of the gun's relative capability at medium range, as well as the fact that you are constantly underestimated by your opponents. But as you saw just now, I think it's also worth mentioning that this is still a machine pistol and at long range, you're going to struggle to really achieve much. But at least I distracted the enemy and I got a suppression assist and a spot bonus. My objective for this series was to find the least loved weapons in Battlefield and to maybe, just maybe, find one or two guns that deserve far more attention than they're getting. And when it comes to the MP18 Experimental, I think I can very safely say mission accomplished. After trying this gun out for myself, I would even go as far as to say that it is possibly the best assault class weapon for fighting at medium range. And it has in fact become my go-to primary weapon for the assault class for maps with large open areas. So if you're one of the many players who just go to the Hellregal or the Automatico by default, I can only encourage you to give this little machine pistol a spin. The whole three round burst is going to be weird at first, it certainly was for me, but I'm really glad I stuck with the gun and gave it a chance. But that's just my opinion, as always I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Have you ever used this gun? What was your experience? Feel free to share it by leaving a comment below. And with that I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next episode.